everyone welcome back today we're going to be looking at standard 7.rp.a.3 use proportional relationships to solve multi-step ratio and percent problems examples simple interest tax markups and markdowns gratuities and commissions fees percent increase and decrease and percent error the width of the rectangle is 80 percent of its length what is the area of the rectangle so this here would represent the length and we are trying to find first the width, which represents 80% of the length, and then we're going to use that information to calculate the area. So for our percent proportion, we have part over whole equals percent over 100. And in this scenario, we have X as our part, 45 as our whole, 80 as our percent over 100. Now we're going to do the cross multiplication. So X times 100 gives us 100 X. 45 times 80 is equal to 3,600. We're dividing both sides by 100, where X is equal to 36. So the width for this example is 36 inches. Now let's go ahead and calculate the area. So area is equal to length times width. So that's 45 times 36. And the product of 45 times 36 is 1,620 inches squared. Tax is an additional amount paid on the total bill. The percentage of tax charge is regulated by the city or the state. Whenever we calculate tax, that's an amount that we're going to add to our original amount. Tip is an additional amount paid to a worker as appreciation for services received. This is normally a percentage of the total bill before tax. Discount is an amount taken off the original purchase price. This can be a percentage or a set dollar amount. So tip, we also add discounts, so we subtract. So we add tax and tip, we subtract discount. Commission is an additional amount paid to an employee for the sale of an item, typically seen in car sales, real estate, and some retail stores. So in this example, it says, Ricky bought a new car for $32,500. The salesperson receives 5% commission on the sale. How much commission did the salesperson receive? So the original amount is $32,500. The discount is 5%. And we want to know how much commission did the salesperson receive. So set up our proportion, part over whole is equal to percent over 100. We do not know our part, but we do know our whole is 32,500. And that is equal to 5 over 100. We're going to cross multiply. So X times 100, 5 times 32,500. So we have 100X is equal to 32,500 times 5 is 162,500. And we divide both sides by 100. So X is equal to... 1,625. So the total commission earned is $1,625. The simplest way to have done that would be to either divide or you can cancel out those zeros because it's like you're dividing by 100 and what was left is 1,625, which is our total amount here. Muhammad spent $305 at Target. If sales tax is 6%, what was his total bill? How much did he pay in taxes? So we're gonna do our percent proportion. So part over whole is equal to percent over 100. We don't know the part, that's what we're gonna to try to find. The whole is 305 and the percent is six over 100. We cross multiply. 305 times 6 and 100 times X gives us 100 X is equal to 305 times 6 is 1000 
830 and we're going to divide both sides by 100. So here we have X is equal to $18.30. Dividing by 100 is the same thing as moving your decimal two places to the left. So 1, 2 gives me $18.30. So that's the amount of my tax. Now to find the total bill, I'm going to go with my original amount of 305 plus $18.30. Don't forget to line up those decimal points. And then we can add. So this is 30 cents. Five plus eight is 13, so that's two. So the total bill, including tax, is $323.30. The Knights went out to eat at Olive Garden. If their bill was $58.20 and they gave the server a 20% tip, how much did they pay altogether? So we'll start with our percent proportion, part over whole equals percent over 100. The total bill was $58.20, so that's our whole and they're giving a 20% tip, therefore I'm looking for my part. So X over $58.20 is equal to 20 over 100. We cross multiply. So X times 100, 58.20 times 20. So we have 100 X is equal to if you're struggling with multiplying decimals, go back and watch the lesson on how to stack and multiply, right? So we'd multiply pretending like the decimal is not there, then we would count the number of places and put it back in our answer. So 58.20 times 20 is 1,164, and we divide both sides by 100. Again, dividing by 100 allows me to move my decimal two places to the left, so here it's $11.64 is the amount of tip. To find the total bill, we are going to add $58.20 plus 1164. Let's go ahead and stack them and do the addition. 5820, 1164. Zero plus four is four, two plus six is eight. To bring down that decimal point, five plus one is nine. 5 plus 1 is 6. So the total bill is $69.84. Jillian is decorating her new room. She found a bed up here one for $425. If the bed is 25% off, what will it cost? So first, we're going to go ahead and set up our proportion. So part over whole is equal to percent over 100. The total cost was 425, but she's getting a discount for 25% off. So again, we're looking for the parts. Part will be our X. 425 is our whole, 25% over 100. And now we're gonna go ahead and cross multiply. So 100 times X, 425 times 25, so this gives us 100x is equal to 425 times 25 is 10,625, and we're dividing again by 100. So x is equal to, I move two decimal places, 1, 2, $106.25. So now since this is a discount, I'll need to subtract it. So I have $425 minus $106.25. So the difference of $425 and $106.25 is $318.75. So the bed would cost her $318.75 after a 25% discount. At Best Buy, they have a 65-inch TV that sells for $1,250 and is on sale for 15% off, and the sales tax is 6.5%.
what is the final cost? So for this problem, we'll have to calculate the discount, subtract it from the initial amount, and then we will calculate the tax based on the discounted amount. So let's set up our percent proportion. So the original cost is 1,250 and it's 15% off. That's our discount. And then our sales tax will be 6.5%. So let's go ahead and plug these in. We're finding our part. Our whole is 1,250. Our percentage is 15 over 100. We're gonna go ahead and cross multiply. So 100X is equal to 1,250 times 15, which is 18,750. Let's just put in our butterflies, butterfly wings. Okay, now we're gonna divide both sides by 100 and we get that the X is $187.50. So the total amount of the discount is 1,850. So now we have to find out what is the price after discount. So we're gonna take the total amount, 1250, minus 187.50, and that is equal to $1,062.50. So the price after the discount is $1,062.50. Now we're gonna use that amount to help us calculate our tax. So again, our percent proportion part over whole is equal to percent over 100, and we plug in our values so we don't know our part. Our whole is 1,062.5, and that is equal to 6.5 over 100. We're gonna go ahead and cross multiply, so X times 100, and then 1062.5 times 6.5. So 100X is equal to $6,906.25, and we're dividing both sides by 100. So again, we move that decimal two places, and that's going to give us 69, so X is equal to, let me change my color, 69.0625. And because we're dealing with money, we need to round. So we round to the hundredths place where the six is, the number after it is a two. So this would just be equal to 69.06. So that's the total amount of the tax. So the total bill, is the discounted amount of, of $1,062.50 plus the tax amount of $69.06 for a total of $1,131.56. Alan and three friends went out to eat. The bill was $72.50. They were charged 6.75% sales tax and tipped the waiter 15%. How much is the total bill? Okay. So let's see here. So 72.50 was the total amount. 6.75% was their tax and 15% was for the waiter. Now, whenever we talk about calculating the tax and the tip, the tip is not calculated including the tax amount. So we have to use 7250 to calculate each of these portions and then we will add everything. So part over whole is equal to percent over 100 and we do these one at a time. So we're looking for the part, the whole is 72. 50, and the first percent we're working with is 6.75 over 100. We go ahead and we cross multiply. So X times 100 and 72.50 times 
6.75 so we have 100 x is equal to 489.375 and then we're going to divide both sides by 100 so that gives us 4.89375 and because it's money we need to round so it's four dollars and 89 cents so that's the amount of the tax now let's just draw a line here so we can separate our work now we're going to go ahead and calculate our tip so we know we're using the same proportion part over whole equals percent over 100 so x is our part our whole is 7250 and our percentage here is 15 over 100. We go ahead and we cross multiply. So 100x, which is equal to 1087.50, and then we're gonna divide both sides by 100. So here we have that it's 10.8750 because it's money we're gonna to round to the hundredths so this is ten dollars and eighty eight cents now let's go ahead and calculate the total bill so we're starting with the seventy two dollars and fifty cents plus four dollars and eighty nine cents in tax plus ten dollars and eighty eight cents in tip eighty eight dollars and twenty seven cents so the total bill after tax and tip is eighty eight dollars and twenty seven cents Thank you for watching and have a great day.